In Lost Ark, the martial artist is going to offer you four different subclasses to choose from, and they're all going to rely primarily on their punches and their kicks, which seems a little bit boring, but really their abilities make up for their lack of weaponry. These classes are really going to require some ability management and timing if you want to play them at their maximum potential. Looking first at the Soul Fist class, this class is going to offer you a good balance of melee and range attacks as well as some good mobility. Out of the gate, her primary is going to shoot beams of light out of her punches, which is going to allow you to hit enemies nearby and at range. You're also going to have some pretty cool ranged abilities that you can lean on when you want to keep some distance from your enemies. And if you decide you want to get up close and personal, you're also going to have a lot of good melee abilities at your disposal that are going to offer you the mobility to close the gap as well as some small CC. When you're using your abilities, they're actually going to cost you some key, which is essentially like a stamina bar. You can see it on the bottom of the screen here. If you spam abilities until you run out, you're going to have to actually wait until the bar completely refills again until you can use any more abilities. So you want to keep an eye on this bar and avoid running out of it completely. Where this class is really going to shine is when you activate its identity. What's going to happen is as soon as you press it, you're going to regain some of your key bar as well as increase your skills recovery speed, attack speed, and damage damage. This is going to have three stages that increase the effectiveness of these buffs. You can spam straight up to stage three if you want, but the higher the stage that you go into, the longer the cooldown is going to be. Something that's actually a little bit more important than the length of your cooldown is actually going to be the fact that when you enter the next stage, the timer is going to be reset. So what you're usually going to want to do is wait until the timer is almost completely out on one stage before you enter into the next, so that way you stay buffed for as long as possible. Using your identity mixed in with your abilities is really going to allow you to nuke enemies with this class. Moving on to the striker and the war dancer, these classes are going to wear light gauntlets on their hands and rely on their punches and their kicks. I'm combining these two classes because their abilities are almost identical minus a few changes. The striker is going to be the male version of this class which is going to have a slower but more hard hitting attack and leans a bit more towards DPS. And the war dancer is going to be the female version which hits faster but a little bit weaker and leads a bit more towards team play again they are very similar to each other so it's not really that massive of a difference depending on which one you take to be effective with either of these classes you're going to have to find a balance between normal abilities and ultimate abilities your normal abilities are usually going to be close range multiple part attacks and a lot of them are actually from the back attacks which means that they do more damage when you are behind your enemy you're also going to have access to some combos which require you to hit the button multiple times but often for you some good mobility in the process. As you use your normal abilities, you're gonna actually fill up these orbs that are in the bottom of your screen. These orbs are really useful because you spin them to activate your ultimate abilities. As you can probably tell by the name, these ultimate abilities are gonna be a lot more effective than your normal abilities. They're oftentimes gonna hit harder and hit more enemies. To be really effective with this class, you're gonna have to find a sweet spot between using your normal abilities and your ultimate abilities. As you get more towards the end game, you're gonna be able to choose between making your ultimate abilities cost less orbs but not be as effective or cost more orbs and be extra effective. Whichever one of these you decide is going to really define your play style when you're playing the striker or the war dancer. Moving back over to female only classes, if we're looking at the scrapper, she is going to use heavy gauntlets as her weapons and rely almost exclusively on punching. If you notice, out of the gate, some of my abilities are actually grayed out. That's because abilities are going to come in two colors and rely off the energy from the bars in the bottom middle of your screen. Right now, you can see there's no green bar and there's purely yellow attacks, but as I use yellow attacks you can see the green bar starting to fill up which is going to allow me to use my green abilities as i use my green abilities this green bar is going to be drained and i'm going to have to switch back to using the yellow attacks you're going to have to be really aware of balancing both your green and your yellow attacks if you want to be effective with this class but what's really nice is that both the green and the yellow attacks offer a lot of cc effects the yellow attacks are actually going to be a mix of fast hitting attacks and high mobility attacks Whereas if we look at the green abilities, these are going to hit much harder and tend to be on a longer cooldown. Some abilities such as Death Sentence will hit harder depending on how full the green bar is when you cast it. Looking at the late game, you're actually going to be able to spec in and choose between whether you want to lean more into yellow attacks or green attacks, but no matter what, you're going to have to have somewhat of a balance of the yellow and green attacks to be effective. If you want to see what magic looks like in Lost Ark, be sure to check out the mage class here. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe as well as check out the Twitch stream down below. My name is Marcus and thanks for watching.